I, I kind of worry that I'm actually losing track of all the threads. I don't think I am losing track of all the threads of this plot, but I'm not sure I can describe them because when I try, it seems like I fail. How would we possibly know about all the threads? There's more winding threads in here than an unraveling Christmas sweater. Why is little Chihiro Morimura with the stuffed rabbit that is Miura's little sister, even though it's not, with Benya Goto? <laughs> I don't even get anything anymore! <laughs> Speaking of not getting anything anymore, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm Ryoko Shinonobe. And I'm also Ryoko Shinonobe. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You aren't wearing any pants! Yes, I am. Or am I? Oh, looks like we unlocked this. Excellent. Cool. It means we can do some more battles. Well, not quite yet, but I will get to that so we can move forward doing something else. Just don't want to do the same thing over and over and over and over. Anyway, all we've done with Yuki Takamiya was the prologue. So we need to move on. I agree. All right. And there's still characters we can't play. Yeah, uh, Nenji, Ryoko, and Renya. And Tomi. Okay. And Tomi, yeah. I like her juice box. <laughs> what to do? Hey, see? <laughs> this place is a dump. Dude, did you see it? I kicked it and it blew away. Oh no, I was too busy laughing. I... There you are. It's <laughs> Tomo. I've been looking for you. Like, who is this person? <laughs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And you're the Watson? And I am the Watson. <laughs> Erica Aiba, at your service. Oh, come on! <laughs> but we know you're Tomo! Oh, okay. Okay, this must be Ryoko Shinonobe. It must be. No, the thing <laughs> is, is, what if it really is? What? What if she really is Ryoko Shinonobe? I do not wish to okay. harbor these shenanigans anymore. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, it's just we keep saying Ryoko Shinonobe because for a while we just kept misidentifying people uh -huh. as, as her. So I just figure we ought to continue it. <laughs> but I'm beginning to harbor actual suspicions that it's true. Well, anyway, come on, Erika Aiba. <laughs> Please, call me Erika. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? Well, let's split up and look for clues. <laughs> I'm trying. Are you upset with me? To walk over here <laughs> so I may think about my carton of Hayse. <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. <laughs> I can't wait to get some chocolate milk called Yeehaw. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Okay, so they did. They do know each other. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Now she's totally there to keep tabs on her. Yeah. <gasps> Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Freaking weirdo. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. Like, the only good memories of her past involve Natsuno. Yeah. And so everything that they have, that they do with each other, it's all of her positive, wholesome memories. It's really interesting. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? I like her strut. Ah, I can actually examine it. I'll get to that. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. You're a spy. Then again, huh? Yuki Takamiya is a spy as well, <laughs> so... Who's spying on whom? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? Well, I mean, what else? The only thing she'd want to. Huh. That was a weird picking up. Right? This is Amiguchi's. 
He got a 92? Like, would you normally do the Patches delinquent squat <laughs> to just pick up something on the ground? Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. Then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yep, still an idiot. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. Okay, okay. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Something, 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 Council of 300. What? <laughs> Sorry, wrong mystery. Well... Let's wander off and start punching people until they give us their information. <laughs> ah, I see the Batman strategy of investigation. <laughs> it's got a long pedigree. Interviewing. Interviewing. Stack of papers. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Oh. Useless. You person staring at judo, you're also useless. <laughs> Have a minute. I'll harass you because I always harass you. I got some things to ask you. And while asking you, judo's gonna walk out. <laughs> what? What do you know about the special investigations unit? Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Ah, okay. Because, you know, Ida's file has to do with... with the pilots at the Sentinels. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. That's me! Jeez! Natsunomi Nami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. <laughs> She's concerned someone will find BJ. The track room, huh? Oh, that's literally what it is. Yeah. This will actually be a good way to move on. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? More, huh? Is there anything else you noticed about Natsunomi Nami? Huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook, and it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The notebook. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Well, I mean, I've done that plenty of times. Yeah! Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Thanks! I'm just gonna walk off. <laughs> ah here we go. Nachan's friend! You <laughs> don't even know her name. Get, get out of the way. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. So, uh... Yes? Oh, could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed. <gasps> are you one of those Sukeban girls? Yes. <laughs> oh, are you, like, hiding a razor in your skirt right now? <laughs> of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life? Oh, what? Uh, is your friend okay? <laughs> Well, you see, she's from the future, Anne. <laughs> Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Can I help you? No. You're beneath me. Go away! <laughs> Yuri Fuyusaka. And don't forget Tomi, too. You're the one next to her. Okay, good. Red glasses. Her, too. Tomi Kisaragi, I think? <laughs> I like how asking about the special investigations unit has nothing to do with it. I, I also like, 
this specific format. It's just like when you're talking to someone, you'll just stop, put your hand to your chin, and stare at them for a few seconds, <laughs> or like pull out something and look at it and, and like stare at it for a few seconds, and then you'll ask them something. <laughs> it must be so awkward to talk to someone like that. Now you, you've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh, master detective. I've got my eye on you. Four eyes. Oh, I guess I don't. I keep trying to look, but she keeps looking away. Okay. Thanks. I'm not going to say bye, though. Y yes? Well, what do I do now? Ah, oh, here we go. Maybe Nachan's in here. Or not. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't we? <laughs> Brilliant deduction, <laughs> Holmes. You stay here. Because you annoy me. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain. Yeah? Their intentions were not pure. You're brilliant. Good job. She's wrong even about that. <laughs> Pretty sure the only reason she disappeared is because she's been time traveling or, you know, jumping to other sectors or whatever that means. Shifting, right. shifting yeah, to yeah, other yeah. sectors. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year. No, I just dress like this for fun. And captain of the track team. <laughs> okay, you're on the track team, son, right, son? Now, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Did you need something? <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions, but I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me, right? <sighs> yep, I thought so too. Okay, thanks, son. Hey, son, what's up? Wait, no, you're not the captain. Hey, what the hell are you doing standing here? You on the track team? Yes. <laughs> Great conversation. Nice hair, bro. Look, she's busy ogling the baseball player. No, look at this guy's hair! Oh my hair. god! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Natsuno Minami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from- Well, Whoops. depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... A box! <laughs> Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. And it being science fiction, girls automatically, their eyes slide <laughs> right off. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Somebody, you said that to somebody other than me. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. An era has come to an end. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. Okay, incident. This is good. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Whoa! Oh, yeah. That seems important. Maybe it's unrelated. But... Right around the time of that fire... I mean, she wasn't at the school. Right. Yuki, I mean. Nachan started skipping her training sessions for Or track. I guess she was. Never mind. Could it be related? Or she's piecing this all together. I do find it hilarious that the tough street thug is the one Sherlocking all this together. Hey, and she, she's very good at it. Yeah, well, she was the one specifically recruited by the SIU <laughs> to do investigations and also beat people up if necessary. Like some sort of fusion of Kunio Kun and Sherlock Holmes. Hey, Kunio Kun solves problems. With his fist. Well, you also have to go to the right place at the right time <laughs> to solve the problem with your fist. I just wanted to create the mental image of Sherlock Holmes with the pompadour in your head. A fire? Sounds good. In the North Building? Yeah. 
I heard an explosion started it. Oh, those pesky gas explosions that happen all the time. I guess that would have been the... Oh, what would the timing of that have been? I was thinking that's when the Sentinel... Well, we're not even sure what the timing of this has happened yet. Well, we know that at this point, it's when... Shoes Sentinel appeared yeah. by the school. That and didn't they? Wasn't that the North Building? We don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure somebody said that detail, but I don't recall. And then, I mean, this is very late because this is when A. Sekigahara wakes up. Right. And, and here's the beginning of the end. Right. Right. Okay. So that was pretty late. Really? I heard it was arson. North Building Fire. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? <laughs> no. Ah, very simple. I'm glad we wasted our time on it. <laughs> Good talk. Now what about you? You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Good job, Watson. Why, why can't we just go to the track room? That seems like a logical... Yeah, then we could go check her locker and not find BJ. Fair point. I guess it would be kind of a waste of time, wouldn't it? Well, I I, I thought that's where we were going next. Skip him, huck him, tetaisuru. advised to associate with hoodlums i am a hoodlum ogata why are you here it's a public roof ain't it i said why are you here just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet ha it's his handkerchief huh that handkerchief was yours yeah so what I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Yeah. Oh, not me. Never. So this is Ogata's handkerchief. I'm glad we established that. That was important, relevant information that we needed to know. Oh, nothing there? Does that mean that Nenji Ogata isn't in the Special Investigations Unit list? Why would he not be? We don't really, we don't really know anything about him. Maybe he's not a pilot yet? So about not... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? All right. So, Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah, I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. He tried to be involved in some way, I think? <laughs> we don't really know. I tried to headbutt their fist, but it didn't work so well for me. <laughs> Unless this is before that. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. Okay, that is the time that he headbutted their fists. <laughs> you what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. The strategy is to break their fists with my face before they break my face with their fists. Does it ever work? No. <laughs> yeah, again, Tetsuya Ida, Four Eyes, did never mention. Oh, yeah, I know you're looking for this Natsuno Minami, which is why we're hanging all this over your head. Oh, we keep finding her. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. Hello, I'm listening. Hi. I guess he's been looking for her, too. It's too late, man. You already did that joke earlier on the manager or something. Uh... Something fishy's going on, but it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. I feel you, man. I feel you. I just, <laughs> I'm not even sure I can keep all the events straight at this point. The agent on Nachan's case, Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up, too. Yeah, I actually forgot that she was that Ryoko Shinonome, the actual one that really is Ryoko Shinonome, and not just someone <laughs> we think is Ryoko Shinonome, unless she isn't. Continue your thought. 
Uh, was the SIU officer assigned to Natsuno specifically? <sighs> no, I better keep talking to him so he doesn't wander off. Have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. This is a public roof. We can all ask questions. <laughs> I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard... That it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. Uh oh You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. <laughs> Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it... It was you! It wasn't even really a fire. Huh. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. Well, guess that's the one we're doing. But if we had these... Yeah. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the North Building. Certainly. Oof. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it looks more like an explosion happened than a fire. There's no way all this was from a fire. Y yes? What was she doing with her hand? She was just kind of looking at her nail. Is she some kind of a witch? <laughs> we are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? It just feels like we're actual detectives now. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was... Yes? Someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Well, just call the case cracked open then, I suppose. <laughs> I love Iba's detective skills. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Definitely an explosion. Yeah. Well, let's look at these before we get to those. Yeah. You know, Tomy's glasses. Wait, what? Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. Oh my god! These scratch marks, they're carved pretty deep in there. Yeah, that's not normal. What on earth was fighting what in here? There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have constructed a criminal profile. Oh, do tell. Hmm. She's going to describe Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Our suspect is a maintenance lady built like a bear. You are totally here to try and make Yuki fail. What yeah. do you think? Mm. This isn't how I expected a crime scene to look in mystery novels. The perpetrator's name is always written somewhere in blood. Yeah, when there's a dead body nearby. <laughs> Wonder what they're talking about there. <laughs> you really are strange. Hey, we all have our hobbies. Don't judge. What? <laughs> Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Yeah, again, this is really why we're here. Does this mean we'll actually get to Tomi Kisaragi? Yeah! Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Therefore, they belong to no one. <laughs> do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Hey, player, do you remember anyone wearing these glasses? Ah, uh, Miwako. Now that I think about it, yeah. Yeah. I do remember someone. There was someone. Not only Miwako, like you said, but also Shinonome. I knew. That's where you were going. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. Stack of papers. No, you got it wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw her in the class one hallway just now. I gotta find her. Her name was on a stack of papers. Okay. <laughs> I'm willing to give you that one. 
Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! oh wait for me! Uh, that was cute. Please don't run off like that so suddenly. <laughs> I won't be able to keep track of where you go. I can't keep up. <laughs> She was somewhere around here before. Mm, I see. Uh, not here either. It's worth being the first place to look, though. Uh, or should have seen her from uh, pretty far away. <laughs> yes? Did you see that? Oh! Iba just turned around and was like, huh. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I think... I think I forgot something. There's some place you gotta be? I'm gonna go get it now. Uh... Hey. Don't want Tomi Kisaragi to see ya, huh? Did she react like that when yeah. you first talked to her? No. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Are these your glasses? Have you ever been to a girl's bathroom? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. I've got more than one pair of glasses. Thank you very much. So obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. Have you ever been to a girl's bathroom? Are you seriously <laughs> going to keep asking that question, Billy? Yes. You really want to know? I have to know. You, you're you a pervert. Yeah. You went to the girl's bathroom in the North Building, that right? Yeah, I did. Once, when I had to pee. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? <sighs> all right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? No, but she knows you were there. Yeah! What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? I didn't say you set the toilet on fire. Besides, if you take a look at that bathroom, yeah, there ain't nothing on fire. Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Yes? Yeah? I saw her. The day of the incident, Usami-chan was in the North Building. Wow, how... You know, I would have expected Miwako to either say nothing or cover for her friend by lying. But she's a very honest person. Yeah, what a good girl she is. Yeah. Like, I really do like Miwako. I can't wait to find out what other NPC that's going to show up as an adult that turns out to be her. Well, Miwako, what the hell? Uh, but I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? Oh! Ah, her statement! Her statement! I feel bad for making them wait for me. That's fantastic! That's awesome! I should hurry up and get these to the art room. The stack of papers! <laughs> oh, Natsuno-chan! Miwako! Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the... <sighs> Sorry, Miwako! We only poked at one of the Natsuno and Men in Black things. Uh -huh. This could have been the time she was being chased, or it could be one of the other things that could have happened. I, I have no idea. Right, right. What was that about? Hmm? Huh? Usami-chan? Uh -huh. What happened to your leg? Yeah. I see. Tomi's actually a werewolf. So she was in a fight with that maintenance lady and built like a bear. It looks like she won. Yeah. I mean, you look at the bathroom, you look at Tony. Yeah. Who came out on top? Did you hurt yourself? I mean, she walked off for crying out loud. She ignored me? That's not like Usami-chan. 
Oh, well, time to go Google Abiguchi. <laughs> or whoever it is this week. Yeah. I've never even seen that place. Why are you so defensive about this? You're straight up lying. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Why are you the one acting like this? Uh, Seriously, Miwako? It could just be that she don't remember. Like, she wasn't really acting like herself, was she? Are you, are you trying to say she's not suspicious? Oh, no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that she could be telling the truth as she understands it. Oh, that, I mean, that is... That's reasonable. what I mean. I'm I'm just more worried about the fact that she just, like, I didn't have nothing to do with nothing. I didn't kill no person. <laughs> I didn't kidnap nobody. And... All right, fair enough. If she didn't have anything to hide or was, like, nervous and didn't really want to tell anybody, but somebody comes asking her, she's like, yeah, it was really weird that X happened. You know, then she could prove that, you know, it wouldn't be so bad. But instead, she's even making Miwako be like, what's going on here? Are you okay, my friend? What's going on? Yui-chan! So, I was saying... Yes? But that can't be right. No, it's true. I really did see them. And now we're going to get Iori's testimony, which is going to place them somewhere else. That's the day we were waiting for you outside. Oh, and we haven't done all of the ones with these, so we can't tell what's true. <laughs> Kendo Sami-chan was with me the whole time. See, the sentinel pilot, the witch, covers for the other witch. <laughs> At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right. And now she's doing the, oh yeah, that's right, as she has the sad look on her face. So two Tomi Kisaragis. Or this, huh? What the hell's going on? Well, the first thing you would assume is that one of these people is lying. Yeah. Not that there's two Tomi Kisaragis. <laughs> but to be fair, there are a, a whole... How many Chihiro Moribudas are there? Yeah, there's an <laughs> army of Moribudas and Idas. But what about Nachan? I, I mean, how did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. On my way back from delivering the copies. Oh, does that mean that if we, with Judo, if we swipe the, st the stack of papers? then Miwako isn't the one who's going to be there, but it'll actually be Judo? Oh! I saw another girl, but she was covered in dust. It was really weird. Yeah? Please go on. Why didn't this stick out more? Must have been Shinonome. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Also covered in bandages. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. Megumi? And I know I've seen her face around here before, but I don't know which year or class. No, she knows Megumi. Yeah, yeah. See, it sounds like she's actually describing Miyoko Shinonome. <laughs> so two... and... What? Oh. A girl covered in dust. Here I am trying to consider something, think it's going to be a copy, and then I end up fast-forwarding to an event. What in the hell happened? Oh, do we get to find out? Hey! In the girl's bathroom. Oh. Okay. So these things happened... Before Megumi got the magic gun. Before there was ever any talk of witches. And then that, that happened... Way back when. Now, okay, so that happened around the time she was running from the Men in Black. Yeah, like these other events could actually all be from this same thing. Yeah. Okay, well, this is complicated, so we're going to do some battles since we have the option to, and it's going to be different. Oh, boy. Well, that's the team, isn't it? Seems like this is the uh, only team I can really have, huh? <laughs> 60 seconds, yeah, that's no big deal. And I don't really have any chips, so I'm not going to worry about spending anything. Well, it seems like maybe it'll be good. Huh, and we'll get, we'll finally get the mystery file for Miwako Sawatari. Yeah. Many long-range specialized kaiju will appear, but unfortunately those poor bastards <laughs> are going to be up against these three, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. I was thinking about what to do. Everyone here? Is it just me, or is my robot a little slower than everyone else's? Well, you do have one of the slower models. Yeah. I I'm sorry, I said one of the slower. Probably... <laughs> the heaviest, for sure. The second generation Sentinels are right. more heavily armed than other models, but also more heavy in general. They're well over 2,000 tons, so careful where you step. Don't want to crash through some underground structure. Oh, are we going to actually address this? The fusion reactor on it is pretty heavy, but its energy output is off the charts. Enough that it can power a plasma arc fusion cutter. If we had meta system level 10, I don't know. That must be one heck of an engine. <laughs> one heck of a freaking engine. <laughs> Once you know how to use that, you'll be slicing up kaiju like a knife through butter. I, I bet so. Just got to wait on it. Their original purpose was to break down massive pillars for high-rise buildings. Of course they'd be heavy. I feel like that's overkill! But in a close quarters fight, that 1300 ton grip strength will come in handy. Jeez! Second generation models are linked to a squad of support units, too. They'll respond to distress calls. The if you can figure out the best time to use them, you might just turn the tides of battle. Yeah, I don't think it's the only way you need to use them, because they do have melee capability. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've been thinking a lot about this. Like, if there's three of them, like there are in this stage, I think it's probably worth it to have somebody like Juno march out and, and just, just like, yeah. plan himself and get ready to fight. I, I don't know if I can remember all that. I'm sure stuff like Guardians will be really cool later. Right. I guess the G2 is the tower defense. <laughs> Need help. Whereas, like, the others kind of aren't really. Focus. Yeah. Lend us a hand. Yeah, let's Number try 15. this. Moving out. Too slow. Like, I'm gonna have Juno put out a sentry gun, like, more out here or something right, like that. Right. Ah. <laughs> here we go. A hit. Enemy signal terminated. Yeah, I'm not really all that worried about this. What <laughs> now? Railgun goes down. <laughs> Damn, Kaiju. How's that? Just watch. Boom. Get it. From above. What do I do? Okay. Focus. Move. Number 15. I'll take it down quick. Move. Jesus. I'm sorry, it's just that G3s are really good, you know? Yeah. Let's do this! Oof. Wasn't able to finish him, but... I wonder how many of these I can take out now. Well, I shouldn't screw around. No, I'll screw around one time. Hit! Okay. Oh, wow. I beat him! Oh, wow. it, 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 so, so what had happened was... I fired all that... And I was able to go through so many of them because I was taking each one yeah, out in yeah. turn. The ones in front were blowing up instead of blocking for the ones behind them. Right. It doesn't hit everybody in the cone. It's going to attack 12 times right. with that power. Boom. Leave it to me. Total overkill. Enemy down. The best kind of kill. Score. Gotta think. Let's try it. me up. I'll just... Here we go. Well, that stinks. Unfortunately, these are the units that have the least ability to fight these guys. I would explain why you get a bonus objective for it. Oh, you could drop a guardian by him. You know, let's try that. Deploying decoys. Oh, there it is. Kaiju have appeared. Oh, I can do this. And you know, and they're within range of all the defensive units. Really, the high quads are the only threat here. Watch this. I love the super 80s music right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really want to attack with these guys, but... <laughs> like the high quads, I mean? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, crud, I, I back down. should have used something bigger. Well, it'll be all right. Now. Take that. Ugh. Yeah, okay. In what can I do? From above. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, we got some big boys I coming. Focus. Do we? How can you tell? Uh, if the circle is red, that means it's going to be a tougher wave than normal. 
Are you really going to make him take that circuitous route? What can I do? I don't really have a choice. Now you can go that way. Much less time. I, I hope. Number no. take. Just no one has any armor piercing stuff. Yeah. Uh, try that over there. Help. That does, however, essentially put her out of the fight for a while, though. Let's turn this around. Two more high quads, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Seriously, they're in range? No, they already got taken out by the defensive units. And there's those things again. I don't know what those are. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure that's someone's special ability or like defensive ability. Whatever it may be, yeah. Part of me wants to try EMP. I'll try the missiles. I don't think they're going to be that effective, though. Yeah, I think you're right. Here it goes. Yeah, that's about oh. what I thought. Hold up. How's that? Enemy on the move. Yeah, it did kind of stop him, I guess. Uh, these might be the last ones. I don't see any more waves dropping. I only have 35 more seconds, too. Yeah. Target confirmed. A hit! What now? Ah, finally! Just watch. That hit! How's that? They're I'm here. in range. Having Woo! <laughs> I can help. <laughs> okay, and another wave's coming. Dang. No missiles. What to do? Oh, you have to defend. Can't mess this up. Ah, dang, how have you not gotten it? Try and, like, angle yeah. around there from the left. Yeah, yeah. Dang! He's facing just the worst direction for you. Seriously, I can't... Seriously, I can't hit it! Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'm on it. That hit, got it. Dang! This is all pretty freaky. Now, see, if we had that weapon that Juno was talking about before... The arc plasma cutter? Yeah. Then we could take care of this. Uh, this will do it, though. I'm not out. I'm bubba dubba. Huh? Did you understand that? Did uh, you understand what I, I said? I understood completely. Jeez. How they felt that. How is that? It is, I however, back down. good to have the opportunity to fight some guys without relying yeah. on G1s and G4s. Leave it to me. Good job. Turrets took it out. Excellent. Go away. <laughs> Go <Get> away. <laughs> Number 13. Moving out. Let's get him. I like how he can hit the missiles with the missiles. Here goes. That makes sense. No, it normally hasn't happened that way. I'll take them down quick. I guess because they were further enough down on their arc. Uh, maybe so. I need wow. To think. That's all the EP we got? Wow, Defend doesn't really charge you up much at all, do it? Well, there's like a serious price for doing it. Mm. You lose time. Did I get it? Gotta keep it together. I'm not really sure what they've been shooting at or even if it's done any damage. I guess they've been shooting at the turrets or the guardian, maybe? I think so. They haven't been hitting your guys. Hit. Oh, come on, how is that not a back attack? <laughs> Damn, Kaiju! How's that? That hit! Let's turn this around. This isn't so hard. There we Termination go! Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Woo! Yeah, finally got to run around and punch stuff with G2. But mainly it was just the turrets doing all the work. I guess we didn't take any damage, though. That's correct! Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Kind of speaks well for dropping guardians, I guess. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis. Oh, jeez, that's not good. I found Miwa chan with the drone. Uh, don't say it like that. <laughs> you found her? Oh, that's a relief. They were looking for her. Yeah. No, listen. Miwa chan's heading right for the next terminal. Oh, that's bad. What? Miwa go, what are you doing? That girl has no sense of direction. We can't just leave her. I'm gonna go meet up with her. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. We're counting on you. Where's Kisaragi? Where did she just run off to? It's fine! Well, uh, um... Kisaragi, what's your status? 
Answer me. She had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, really though, is this a problem? Is there some reason you can't tell him? Kisaragi, uh, the girl is. Shihiro Morimura? I know. I'll get back to the battle Wait. once me will go safe. What? No more enemies, right? Yeah, rank S. Seems good. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. Since there's kind of a story going on here also. Yeah. Shield Opsos Kaiju will appear. Uh oh! That sounds bad, I, I, I guess. Looks like the baddies will be using shields now. Well, I've worked out who I'm bringing. Here's hoping it works, but I mean, I'm mainly just bringing lower level guys. <laughs> Still don't really see the need to spend any money on anything. <laughs> that kaiju just looks like it's got a big fan on it. What even is that thing? Probably really irritating. I That's bet. an Apsos. More officially, it's an APS feeder. Oh, that one. They're pretty nasty to fight. They can put up deflective barriers. I bet EMPs work on them. I bet punching them is actually highly effective. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at it, Damon. It's got a face. It's got a face and it's wearing some sort of headdress. Do you see it? Do you see the face? Well, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Probably easier to say it's like a support kaiju that can give other kaiju shields. It's got shields? A shield matrix. The fourth gen sentinels have those as well. Oh, I get it. Like the one on Amiguchi kun sentinel. One day I'll even use one. <laughs> Your own third gen unit should have a weapon that can disable that too. So it is EMP. The EMP stunner. I think that's the one. That'll stop the D forces in their tracks with an electromagnetic pulse. The EMP should also deactivate any shields they have up too. That said, you'd be better off destroying them before they get the shields up at all. Message received. That's my style. It really seems like every every sentinel you can Just you need to inflict or inflict. You what? need to equip EMP on it if yeah. it's possible. Back me up. What's the plan? The plan is for you to run all the way over here. Good luck. Seems like a good plan, right? Here goes. Big brain move. If there's nothing to put a shield on, it can't shield them. I guess it can shield itself. What's the plan? Movement. Move. Move. How was that? Next. Next. Not throwing <laughs> away my shot. Them. Shoot all of them. Huh? Make them die. Yes. Now. And yeah, boom! I, I don't want to waste Enemy too much energy. Oh, you took out the shielder, so. Absolutely. Hold still! Bullseye! Bingo! Watch this! Now they felt that. So I really needed to see what I was up against. And that seems bad. Oh god, it's a carrier. Ah, he doesn't actually have the EMP. Well, shoot a bunch of missiles. Here we go. Uh, putting a Drop gun here off. might actually help back there. Now. I'll handle this. Score. You fall down. <laughs> Don't waste any chances. And you die. Here goes. We won't be able to get it immediately, that but. Work? Yeah. yeah. Almost. That is not fair. <laughs> Number 23, I won't back down. Okay, that's that, right? Isn't yeah. that gone? Yeah, that one's almost gone. Well, if... Well, I mean, dead from the gun that's shooting it? Well, A will finish uh, yeah. it off either yeah. way. Okay, Miura. Then out third. Target confirmed. Dang, I, I really... There's some more weapons that I need, frankly. <laughs> like, just the basic stuff that's available. Yeah. I understand at first it's sort of all different, but it would actually be better if I, if every generation had its same basic equipment right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here goes. Full 
bullseye. There you go. Ah, and the dang thing got back up because I didn't finish it when I had the chance. Still, it's good to know. Don't let yeah. up. And A still doesn't actually have the EMP because I'm a dummy and didn't buy it for him. <laughs> Number 11. Get out of here. Okay. Signatures from above. Yeah. Was that okay? Got him. Ah! Oh, still. Get out of here. <laughs> What's the plan? So it's just a high quad. There we go. <laughs> Finally, Eat. the back attack you want. Move. Eat this. You know, I'm I'm just gonna go kill that stupid thing. Kind of a waste of a full turn, Let's but. Do this. I like how the music here is kind of like Ace Attorney. Huh, yeah, I guess it kind of is. Back down. I didn't notice. Here we go. Boom. Did I get it? Yes. Yes, you did. Down. I have to focus. That's it. Boom. How's that? Ta -da. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Okay, that was that. Boy, the city took a lot of damage. <laughs> Compared to normal. Yeah. And this is me, like, doing badly and taking, like, bad turns. Agent activated. Terminal closure complete. And not having access to enough EMP and leg spikes, so... Surrounding two-kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. Should be good is what I'm getting at. All units fighting the kaiju. Can you hear me? Why are you talking like this? <laughs> Who's that? How'd you get on this channel? Wait, here is a girl Miwako was helping. Chihiro? Is that <laughs> you, Chihiro? And now we actually understand this. Yeah. I'm Chihiro Morimura. What? <laughs> That's our teacher's name. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Read out, say, 1.2 million people in Sector 4. Oh, yeah? 1.2 million people in Sector 4. And the sectors are what they were referring to space colonies as in the in Mira's first. Yeah, scene. no, I'm assuming that's accurate. It certainly was what they called it then, but the it, people who vanished, maybe they're being warped to the sectors. I, I have no idea. I I feel like we're actually in the sectors, but it's like not apparent that we are. Mm. Like it's being hidden. I see. I see. Uh, but I mean, we, there, there's not really too much of a way to know, per se. Uh, uh, yeah, that was just an idea that popped into my head. Like, maybe we are on Earth, but that's where all the people are disappearing to, you know? Why? Why would people be warped up to space colonies? So they're not being attacked by the Dimos. But aren't the Dimos the ones warping them? If the Dimos I... are the ones making them disappear. All, all I'm getting at, there is something disappearing. Yeah. Bodies and wreckage sometimes disappears instead of lays there. Yeah. Anyway, I wonder if this is this is maybe the original Shihiro Morimura. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Just, you know, been digi lolly or some such. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025, as in Sector 3. So it was the the sectors were years. Huh. Or, okay, not necessarily, because we, we were talking about that. Yeah, right? yeah. Maybe, maybe this actually means that the area called Sector 3 is the year 2025. It's not that the year 2025 is what you would call Sector 3. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe not. Um, uh, not entirely. If this is a fake world. Oh, okay. I think I get what you're saying now. Like, they really are in the place that is called Sector 3, which is a space colony, like we found out in the very first event from Muta. Uh-huh. But... The area called Sector 3, for some reason, is like the year 2025. Okay, now I get, yeah, I, I Which, understand what you're saying It's now. not like it's supposed to be that. Right. It's like that because of what's going on as a consequence of the game. Yeah. Not because that's how it was originally intended to yeah. be. And yeah. that's just a guess, though. No more different than your own guess. Huh. To the year 2025? You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. Oh, well, there you go, then. That's what they're doing is... Just teleporting all, as many civilians as possible, which is ingenious and kind of insane. <laughs> That's all. Chihiro, oh, wait a minute. That's clearly not a little girl. Right. 
Wow! <laughs> kind of a big deal. Yeah, more than I was expecting. Ah, that's why we had to bring Mira for the bonus. The fight is far from over. He even got to be MVP. <laughs> Actually, I think that's his second MVP <laughs> in a row, and now he gets Big Brother. Also, do you see the horrible damage that I took? <laughs> I it's just the damage. bar. The bar is maximum and so huge because everybody else is zero. Yeah, that's hilarious. Sweet. And double sweep. Well, I'm going to say that we're pretty much out of time. As the person keeping track of time, I am forced to agree. Shouldn't you actually be the person telling me we're out of time? Yes, I did do that. When you asked me, we just weren't recording it. And you know this because you already edited out asking me. I cannot argue with or dispute any of the things that have been said. <laughs> Let's look at the mystery files. And, oh, no, we don't have anything to place. Okay. Who is this Chihiro and... I said... How'd that go again? Half-half-sha-boo-boo-baba. I do have sha boo baba And Kisaragi's glasses, see? <laughs> We've got eight mystery points. We should just hold off on it. After a point, we're going to start getting these, and they'll be, like, all the way filled out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't have to unlock Miwako. Uh, the ones we get for fulfilling bonus objectives come already unlocked. You know, you're right. I know. And, and I guess, well, I, I guess a lot of them we get from battles just come unlocked, whether, even they're, whether they're the bonus objectives or not. Yeah. Well, I suppose that Miwako does have a plump figure for Japan. <laughs> where everyone weighs like 103 pounds. Yeah. But she is not large. Right. Cool. I guess we're done. Yeah. Check out this dramatic outro. Just stop. Just stop. Yes, sir.